So yesterday I made a video about microgreens and today I thought I would do a video about sprouts. Now at the moment we're only sprouting seeds, um, one type of seeds which are broccoli sprouts and we're doing that because they're the best source of sulfurophane which is this amazing um, compound which has been shown to have all sorts of health benefits. I won't go into those health benefits because I'm not a medical expert but if you want to look at it I'll put some links in the description. But anyway from my perspective they're definitely worth looking at uh, and investigating and seeing whether they're relevant to your own health challenges or opportunities. So I thought I would show you the setup that I've got because I'm really pleased with it and it, it, the little sprouters that I've bought they're quite expensive but I'm kind of committed that the money that I make off YouTube, I invest back into the channel, things that are interesting to people on the channel. So I invested in these. I think they're lovely. And uh, let me show you them. Wash this jar. It's a mason jar. And it comes with a stainless steel lid and a removable. And I put it in the sink and I fill it with boiling water. I might not have a buff water here, but I want to fill it right up to the top. No, I'm going to, yes. So it spills out and I'll leave that for a few minutes. And then I'll pour all the boiling water out through this metal grill here. And I think that is sterilized enough. I mean, it, this isn't something like you would do for making a chutney or some other sort of preserve or something where you know it's going to stay there for six months or nine months um, so you don't need to, that level of sterilization but it needs to be you know free of 99.9 percent .9 of all germs supply of seeds now i'm not recommending the seed company this is just one that i got off amazon but you do want organic seeds because you are eating the seeds and so organic i think is the best option now these seeds, they need to be sterilized. And so there's a whole variety of different ways you can sterilize them, but I'm using apple cider vinegar. So I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Okay, so that's the sterilized bottle, uh, the mason jar, and it's cooled down. So I'm just gonna put a few tablespoons full of apple cider vinegar in there and add about the same amount of water probably actually probably three or, four, three or four times the amount of water. I think uh, the same amount would be a bit too strong a solution. So that is now a reasonably dilute mix of apple cider vinegar, but it's strong enough to kill anything bad. So then you need your measure. Mine's a tablespoon. And I use two tablespoons in one of these jars. Now you can see from this one, which is a day away from being ready, that, that by tomorrow that jar is going to be full and then it's going to go in the fridge. Okay, so swirl this around and make sure you get all these little seeds off the sides and underneath the surface there's a few more there and then you want to leave that for 10 minutes and then all those seeds the surface of those seeds will all be sterilized and ready for growing waiting for those seeds to sterilize. Let's take a look at one of these. So these need rinsing thoroughly with water every, well, twice a day. I sometimes do it three times a day. Um, I don't think you need to do it more than three times a day, but twice a day seems good. So cold water, fill the jar, empty the jar. I do it twice. beauty of the little stands. The water then just drips out into the little collection tray. So cute. And same with this one. I'm 
and you can see none of the seeds are coming out. Now I've got these on the kitchen counter. This is not the right place to put them. It's far too warm in the sun from the kitchen counter. So where we want them is somewhere not too cold, uh, but not too sunny. And so we've got a north facing windowsill. So that's where you want them. This actually is close to a radiator, but most of the heat kind of skips it because of this lip here on the windowsill. So we found anyway, that's fine. They're not getting too hot. If you do see a lot of condensation in here, then it probably means they're getting too hot. You, you really just want them to uh, it's be nice, clear glass, ideally. As I say, don't water them too frequently, a couple of times, maybe three times maximum a day. And uh, yeah, that, as I said, that will be ready for harvesting tomorrow. So it's been 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna drain that out. And then it's important to give those a thorough rinse because you don't want any of that acid in there. Those nice and clean. And then we're gonna put these on the side to stand for about eight hours. So I normally do this in the morning and at dinner time, I uh, rinse them off. So there we go. That will just sit there for eight hours and then it will just be drained off and it will be rinsed and just put on the sand like the others. So these are the microgreens. These are ready. So this is about the size you want them. If you let, you, obviously you could let them grow bigger, but if you want the new maximum level of nutrition, this is the size you want to eat them at. And I have these in a smoothie and Debbie has them normally in wraps or on a salad. And as I said, we keep them in the fridge when they're this size for the two days that we eat them before we move on to the next batch. And you want to make sure they don't smell or anything like that. It's really having things really hygienic is really important with with these microgreens. Now the reason you do this rather than this is because you really want to eat the seeds because that's where all the nutrients are in these, particularly in the broccoli sprouts. So sprouting the seeds and eating the seeds is much better with broccoli than uh, growing microgreens. So there you go, that's my sprouting setup. As I said, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, my name is Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.